In this video, we're going to talk about the Facebook Pixel, how to put it on your web page, and what you can do with it. Now, the Facebook Pixel, Pixel is very important because that's how you can remarket to people, and it also can uh, also can track like goal conversions and thing things like that. So, there's a couple different ways on how you can do this. What we're going to do is, if you go hover up here, you can go over to Pixels, and then you can click Create a Pixel. Uh, this is one, I'm just going to do a test pixel because I've already done this one in the past. Text pixel, go ahead and create it. Text pixel is ready. Uh, you can either email the pixel code. That's especially if you have someone else that's running your website or install pixel now. So I'm just going to go ahead and click install pixel now. So copy the code of the clipboard. Now I'm going to show you how to do it in WordPress and in Volusion is what I use, but it's very similar to uh, like a Shopify. So if you go down to, for Volusion, it'd be the file editor. Shopify, I'd have to show you in there how to do it, but I'm sure once I show you here, you'll be able to figure it out. I'm gonna go to my template here. I already have uh, the code. Basically, all I'd have to do is paste the code in here. So I'm just gonna paste it in. But since it's already up there, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this. Normally, I'd click Save. I'm not going to do that because, like I said, I already have the code right here. And then if I were to go to WordPress, it'd be a similar process. You you can actually uh, go into plugins, add new, and they have the Facebook conversion pixel plugin. This is for people that run like a WooCommerce site or, you know, if you're just doing Facebook ads to your WordPress site for whatever reason, I could install that now. Now, I didn't do that. What I did instead is I actually put it in the under appearance editor. I went in there and I actually did it in the code itself, which is a little bit more advanced of an option, but you can see. I think it was in like the theme footer. I went in there and did it. I'd recommend just doing the plugin. It's probably easier. Proceed, let's see if I have it. Yeah, you can see the Facebook pixel is right there. So now that you have the Facebook pixel installed, it might take a little bit of time to fully register, but it lets you do a lot of cool things. Uh, for instance, you can create an audience. You can create custom audiences. So let's go over here, audiences. The, let's see which one's here. Now I've got a ton of different ones going on, but the ones, visitors from the last 90 days, that's from my website. So let's say I wanted to create a custom audience and you could do website traffic because we have the pixel installed now. So you can do anyone who visits your website, people who visit a specific web page, people visiting specific web pages but not others, people who haven't visited in a certain amount of time. So we can do all these different options and they're all pretty self-explanatory. So let's say anyone who visits your websites uh, in the last 30 days. Now what we could do that's cool is we can also go down and do specific pages. And why this is important is because if you want to target someone that just went to a certain product page and you want to show them an ad for that product. Now I might not do this cause I have not, I don't have a ton of traffic, but if you're a bigger site, you might want to think about doing that. Or if you have a certain, or if you have less products. Now I have so many products that would, you know, maybe this is something I should eventually do, but what I could do is let's say anybody that's visited this page, going to ads manager, where was it here? Oh, okay. So I, c I could pick between the two domains here, but the other option is people who visit a certain page. So I could do whatever URL contains that. And you might want to look at the formatting. Maybe it would just be best to do um, like the, the last part, like slash that, or I'm not sure exactly on the formatting, but that's something you can look into. I'm just showing you how basically to do this. So I can say anybody that's visited my booty short page, I want to show in the last 30 days, I want to show them this ad. So I might call this 
booty short. I'm just going to put test because I like always like to do that just because I'm not really using this just yet. Booty short test audience. Create audience. Uh, see, the audience is too small, um, which is kind of interesting. So let's try another one. Because I don't think it should be that small. URL contains booty. I just want to see what happens when I do that. Oh, URL equals. So that might be the, even the better one. Let's say, yeah. Go in there. Let's see what happens. Test to booty. Now I'm surprised that it still says the audience is too small. Um, I'd want to play with that a little bit and, you know, see exactly what's going on. Something's wrong there, but this just, you know, I'm showing you the basic uh, ways that you can do it. And um, there's some other things here, but let's do one that actually works. So anyone who visits your site within the last, let's say 25 days, oops, 25 days, include past website traffic, test to past 25. Uh, hopefully this one works. All right, so obviously something is going wrong here, but just generally showing you this is how it should work. Um, oh, I think maybe because I didn't select the domains. Something's going wrong, obviously. I, I'm gonna have to troubleshoot this and figure it out, but uh, just so you understand the basics on how it works, this is normally how it would work. I think down below here, I actually have one. Visitors from the last 90 days. Let's click on that one. Is there anyone that has visited your website in the last 90 days? I mean, that's basically you know, what, what I've been trying to do here. So you can see I have the visitors from the last 30 days, visitors from the last 90 days, and buyers. And the reason I have those is I want to exclude buyers, people that have already purchased from seeing my ad. And to do that, to do the, the buyer's pixel, oops, website's freaking out. I can go ahead and click on that. Let me just show you how I did that. So people who visited the URLs containing orders finished in the last 90 days. Uh, because orders finished is the final page, the thank you page. So anyone that's reached that page, I know they completed a purchase. So what I would do there is I could show ads to anybody that's been on my website, but hasn't reached the orders finished page. So here's just some ideas. I'm sure you can think of a hundred others of your own on how you can use custom audiences and be able to build your own ads. I really, uh, retargeting ads are the only ads I do year round because they're so powerful and I highly recommend doing that. So I would target people that have been on your website in the last 30 days and have not actually purchased, do some kind of retargeting ad. You can even do a night up to 90 days and throw them some kind of coupon offer or things like that. But hopefully this gets the ideas flowing and that's how you do some custom audiences and set up the Facebook.